Hey guys, um, in Scotland right now, um, just got back from the Glen Turret Distillery, um, said to be the oldest distillery in Scotland, um, I think it was like 1700s where it started, really interesting journey, some really strong smells of uh, whiskey and alcohol and so crazy some of the smells in that distillery um, so yeah we saw the big tubs that it's made in it starts off with like a porridge substance it was really good and I got to sip some as well um, playing a bit of uh Final Fantasy Eleven. I'm recording some stuff, you know, whatever. Let's get this on the road. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, the Glen Turret European Oak Expression, aged five years. The guy there said that this is one of his favorites um this was 45 quid um i went for it because i think it's a sherry cask i think is it whatever i can't remember Um, and I got to try the, um, there's one called a, the Triple Wood, I think. Um, triple Wood Whiskey. I think that was a bit of an older one, 10 years or 12 years. And it was very good. It was very balanced. Um, vanilla, toffee, you know, I had that like, it was a bit more like a more balanced less in your face, more easy going version of Buna Harbin. But it was very balanced and easy drinking and the mouth feel was really nice, smooth as hell. Um, but yeah, I got to sip that and I've got a little bit to take home as well, you know, like a miniature. Um, but I've not tried this one yet, so let's see, shall we? Oops, 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 oops. So there's a good story at this distillery about a cat that used to live there. Um, and it's it worked there and its job was to catch mice. And um, I think it was in like the Guinness World Record of like the best mouse assassin in the world something like that like 28,000 estimated in its lifetime as its kill streak of mice his name was Towser and they also had um they had two cats currently there you know there to catch mice and their name was Glen and Turret right because the name right and we saw Glen he was an orange cat and they had like a little bed in this certain room in the distillery and pretty cool and they had like a little house like a little cat flap to like get in and out of the distillery Whoa. okay is rich so let's look at the color it is a nice vibrant orange wow yeah it's like tea orange Look at that, that is like a vibrant orange. 
It doesn't even really do it justice. Let's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get this near the light so you can see this one I'm talking about. You can sort of see it, look. Look, vibrant orange that. It's almost like what do you call it? Sunset. Right there. Very eye catching. Um right, ooh. Now, let's go in for the nose, shall we? Even though I just got a little sniff of it earlier. Okay, whoa. Vanilla, strong vanilla. And a bit of like grape, I got, I think I got a bit of a grape taste there. It's a really good nose, that. It's light. Definitely vanilla -y. strong vanilla. I feel like there's some other fruit. It's chocolatey, I think. That's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> that might be a new favorite. That caught my throat. I don't think this is as easy going as that triple wood. This is quite fiery. Quite in your face. What can I say about that? This might be. This might have the best oaky flavor I've ever had. The way that the woodiness. You know what I mean by that woody flavor? Which kind of is also half like an almondy flavour. The way that that interacts with the other flavours in this. And the way that it kind of coats your mouth. Wow. There's like a strong... <clears throat> I think it's like malty. very strong like um when we were in the distillery and we went up to like the the grain bit you know like when we actually saw the grain and we got to smell the grain it's you can really there's the grain heavy grain going on it almost is like porridge or something oh that was so good i can't even describe it
might be. <clears throat> oh, this is so funny. I'm getting the same flavors that I got when I would when I was just walking around the distillery. It is a bit like. Could be banana -y, sort of banana, strong like you know, the artificial banana flavour. And a bit of citrus. But the best bit is like the woodiness, the oakiness. <clears throat> it really like around here. It has a good finish too. This might be the best whiskey I've ever had. It's got everything I want. Oh, wow. I think it's, um, it's maybe a bit of a tea flavor, right? Especially when you first get it in your mouth. Oh, wow. That is one of the best whiskies I've ever had. That is probably my favorite, my favorite. I'm going to enjoy a little bit. Um, it's not delicate, it's pretty bold. Um, man, I think there's chocolate. Chocolateiness, milk chocolate. So yeah, that's it overall. <clears throat> I think I've got bits of banana, a little bit of grape on the nose. Um. Oh wow, vanilla, strong vanilla. -y. And just an explosion of almondy, oaky. It's hard to describe, but it's it's not a sweet flavor. It's like a don't know bitter. There's something else there that I can't quite identify. Wow. Definitely some sort of grape from the nose. <clears throat> I wish I could sum that up, but... Um, the best takeaway is if you want woody flavours, which I love, that almondy, the bitter flavour, and um, rich fruits like banana, maybe a little bit of citrusiness to it. It's got this sort of spiciness to it, which Buna Habin has. It's like a black pepper kind of spice, I think. Or like... 
What's I'm trying to think of something. Is it something you put in curry? It's like a little leaf or something or whatever. It's like a herbaceous type of spiciness to it. <laughs> I think. I have to have, have a a nice jam of that. Right, cheers everyone. So that's Glen Turret European Oak Expression aged five years. And my god for a <clears throat> for a five year old it's probably the best. Five year old? That could be if you'd have told me that was like twelve year old, I just said, yeah. It's complex as can be. And that's probably the maybe the my new favourite that. I love the colour. I love the nose. Is the coffee, I think? Chocolatey coffee nose. With some bit of grape. Well, you know, like an artificial grape. It always reminds me of these, um, you know, Jelly Belly. Uh, jelly beans. They used to do this like lip balm that my uncle used to get, and it, the smell smells like that. That is beautiful. Cheers, everyone.